what I decided to take on was that I would engage with and support Gordon with all the things that he was doing, which gave me the opportunity to go to the G8 summits and the G20 summits and also to be able to host all of the G20 um, spouses and leaders when they came to London for the big um, financial uh, G20 uh, gathering. And it also meant separately for me, and what was very important, was the issues and causes that I'm most passionate about. I realised I had a very valuable platform. And during the time, you know, we have, we have a strong media in this country, and I know there's, you know, it's probably a whole, whole speech in its own right, but for me, I felt that I didn't want to cross that line into being permanently available to media in the way that I watched you know, ministers do that day to day and, and um, you know, other people who are officially part of the government where you're, you know, enabling, um, you know, all, all of your media then has to kind of go through other people translating for you. And so I sat down with a friend of mine, I sat down with Martha Lane Fox, who um, I felt was, the, you know, the friend of mine who I thought would know her way, who started lastminute.com, would know her way around um, social media the best. And in fact, she's, you know, uh, works now as the um, envoy with the, the government and with the last government to try and get the whole of Britain online, which um, I think if anyone's going to do it, she's going to do it, because I think it's that opportunity where people who literally don't have access to their own computer or aren't engaging with social media are missing out on, on so much. And Martha sat down and went through different options for me. I looked at Facebook and realised that, you know, that was obviously, yeah, I could, I could have a page. I'd already started posting blogs on the number 10 site if I was going on a visit, um, but it was Twitter that appealed to me, and uh, I think it's partly the 140 characters I thought was within my concentration span, um, literally, literally, where you realise you're doing so many other things, but it was also what I found as I, as I first started doing it, I remember at the end of the day I had seven followers, I thought it was such a giant achievement, until I realised five of them were from the same building I lived in. Um, <laughs> But actually it starts to build up and, and because of the role that I had there, um, I, what I was able to do was kind of open up and just shine a light on that day-to-day -day life that, that, that seemed to be a lot of the interest that I had with people just wanting to know just how ordinary life worked, wanting to know, uh, you know the things that you were doing officially with the government. And then also for me the thing that became so important was that dialogue you can create around the the causes and the charities that I was supporting and that I was um, you know, wanting to kind of amplify the voice on it and that was the moment for me where things were able to grow but I also felt it's always allowed me to just be myself and I think I would imagine that that, that opens up that space with your blogs that it's that same thing where you, find, you identify your own voice and you identify the things that you want to say. And even if you're doing it quite privately, over time what you realise is you're starting that conversation back where people are talking to you. And at that moment you transition from just having a voice to having a degree of power. And then you're, the opportunity you have then is how you use that to make a difference for things that matter to you. One of the things that, um, that, that I've picked up a lot of people who say to me is, um, you know, it's... Uh, What's it like for you when you stop working, or how's your life? It must be so great for you when you stop working. I really don't know when people define the moment I stop working. I think it's when I stop running my own business. And there's that gap where the idea that as a mother, as somebody who's taking on other, you know, other challenges, other, you know, other work to me.